Hello everyone, this subject is computer network and today we will talk about how to connect two devices or more together. We have a program which is called Cisco Packet Tracer. Like I said before, this program is to connect the devices together. First of all, we will click on it. We click on it on the program. We have a lot of stuff in the program. First of all, today we will connect devices together. Get it to get devices together. First, we will go in up. We go. We have some stuff here. We have a router, switch, hubs, wireless devices, connections, multi G connection, custom wood made devices, and one emulsion and in devices we will click on in devices we will choose the first computer to connect connecting devices another one and the third one we can move this computer to any place that you want it you can move it you can move it to connect these computers together we need a the one thing that to connect these computers together we need a switch the switch is on here we will click the first one it contains 24 24 ports it contain it contain twenty four ports. This switch. The third step we need a, a server to send information this computer and getting devices and getting job completely. A server is in the in devices. This is server. You can move server server to any place that you want it. Now we will go to getting connections between them. We will choose the straight, of course, to connect. This computer to switch this color, which is it's green, which is going, which means it's this connections are right. That you started connections between them in the server, of course. Ethernet. Then we go to on the server to add the IP addresses. We go to we have some stuff here. We go to config and then uh, and down we see fast Ethernet. So we go to IP addresses. I presume I will give them 192.168.1.1 and that automatically will done it. And the second step, and the second step, which is very important, we will go to the DHCP, DHCP part. DHCP part. It means if the IP that you added is should right or wrong, then we will go to the computers. This added editing 
IP of this server is 192.168.1.1. We'll correct this and we'll save it. And HTTP is on, should be on. So we'll go to computers. But we will not add the IP address for those for those computers because server is going to job to doing his job to add it in automatically IP for those computers. Yes. we will click on the PC, then we config, then fast Ethernet. We have. So we have a two options. We have a GSCP and a static. We will change static to GSCP. We we'll automatically IP that server on it. And also another computers in the same way. And the third one, config, pass Ethernet, choose DHCP, automatically will choose, but it will show IP address if that server has done it. Then we will need to set a message this computer to this computer. We we'll click on it. We go to desktop. We we'll click on it. Then command. We'll type ping one hundred ninety two point one sixty eight point one point three. We have uh, some information here that connection is right. And if you want to make sure if you want to send message from this computer to this computer, this IP of this PC is 192.168.1.4 and this computer is 192.168.1.3. We're gonna click on it, desktop, comment. Big one hundred ninety two point one sixty eight point one point three. The question is, is white. And we will go to the server to doing a whip browser and the IP of server is 192.168.1.1 with browser the IP of the server 68.1.1 the Cisco packet tracer work to Cisco packet tracer opening doors to new Operators need wide open. And this computer with a web browser sixty eight point one point one. The Cisco packet is white, and the last step that's very important is to set message the server to
to the computer that you want to set it will set a message from server to this to this computer is shown down it's successful and now we will send a message we have a auto computer slash play we'll click on it the server will send the message to the PC that we choose it Our pressing is right and the process is going successful. My rapport is done. And I want to especially thanks my teacher that gave me a chance to explain what I learned about this Cisco packet. Mr. Abdurrahim Jamil, I want to thank him a lot. And thanks for your time. Have a good day.